Good morning. I'm Deborah Miranda. I'm sorry I can't be there with you today, but this is the next best thing. The same stream of life that runs through my veins night and day runs through the world and dances in rhythmic measures. It is the same life that shoots in joy through the dust of the earth in numberless blades of grass and breaks into tumultuous waves of leaves and flowers. It is the same life that is rocked in the ocean, cradle of birth and of death, in ebb and in flow. I feel my limbs are made glorious by the touch of this world of life, and my pride is from the life throb of ages dancing in my blood this moment. Tom B.K. Goldtooth. If you are interested in learning more about indigenous approaches to land acknowledgements, see Kacha Balding Rizzling's talk titled, What Good is a Land Acknowledgement? on YouTube. This poem, called How to Love the Burning World, starts with an epigraph from Barry Lopez. He asks, is it still possible to face the gathering darkness and say to the physical earth and to all its creatures, including ourselves, fiercely and without embarrassment, I love you, and to embrace fearlessly the burning world? How to love the burning world. Tell yourself it's like sitting at the bedside of your mother, scorched with cancer, her hand already almost ash in yours. Her words already smoke so thick it obscures your vision of a future without her. You want to look away. You want to find a cave, drink yourself into oblivion, sleep while ugliness smolders. Admit it. You want someone else to tend the death watch. Instead, Moisten her tongue with a sponge. Bathe dry skin with lavender cream. Braid her hair with tender, trembling fingers. Take care not to pull on knots. Stay in the room. Let the last thing she hears be your voice, thanking her for every single time she didn't kill you, for the eons she waited before you realized her brilliance her wisdom. All the days she bit her tongue, let you think you had the last bloody word. You aren't required to love the flames, but love the burning world. You owe her that. Fear is no dishonor. Her fever so hot, even metaphors melt at a touch. Memorize her, Praise each scar on her body, beauty ablaze. Pray for a clean ending, a phoenix purification. Pray for mercy. Pray for the only thing that can save us now. Every lesson she ever taught us about the sweet, bitter grace of transformation. Thank you.